Thank you so much, Camilla, and good afternoon, everyone. It's very much a pleasure for me to attend this conference on Blue Justice. And I would like to begin by thanking the organizers for, organizers for having this conference and following up on the declaration that was signed here in Copenhagen on the occasion of the first uh, of the Fish Crime Symposium in 2018. As you are aware of, for the Nordic region, the ocean plays an important role in our identity and economy. Our region is to a large extent made up of vast ocean areas from the Barents Sea in the north to the Baltic Sea in the south and the North Atlantic Ocean in the west. The Nordic prime ministers have set the target uh, so that the Nordic region shall be the most sustainable and most integrated region of the world by 2030. It goes without saying that healthy oceans and sustainable ocean economy is a prerequisite for reaching this vision. In our work with the vision, the Nordic Council of Ministers will carry out several cross-sectoral initiatives rela relating to the ocean. We see sustainable use of the ocean as an important key to our common future. This is why this work is so important. Organized uh, fisheries crime does neither respect borders, nor does it respect the ocean environment and the communities that depend so heavily on them. These are transnational challenges and call for international collaboration. And therefore, the Nordic countries are collaborating to work against transnational organized fisheries crime. As was mentioned in 2017, eight Nordic fisheries ministers signed a declaration against organized crime in the fisheries sector. It was the world's first regional ministerial declaration of this kind. Since then, the number of countries supporting the work against fisheries crime has been growing. In 2018, a large Ocean Nations Forum on Fisheries Crime was launched here in UN City in Copenhagen, joining forces between governments, intergovernmental organizations and civil society. The Nordic Council of Ministers will contribute to another forum of this kind in the Faroe Islands in 2021. For us, the important topics are sustainable use of marine resources, improved food security, human rights and welfare of people dependent on the blue economy, and making sure that countries do not lose out on crucially important marine resources. So the work continues. Ladies and gentlemen, I think the great attendance in this event today is very encouraging, and it shows that we are meeting the challenge of blue justice in the best and in the needed way through international cooperation. I wish you a com successful conference today and I thank you for this opportunity to address you. Thanks. Thank you so much, Paula. That was a very inspiring input. And um, you and I will now have a short discussion. And uh, it is my pleasure and privilege to uh, pose you the first question. So, Paola, you mentioned that the Nordic Council of Ministers will carry out several cross-sectorial initiatives relating to the ocean. Can you tell us more about this? Yes. First of all, uh, uh, the cross-sectoral cooperation uh, is something that we are working very much now uh, in order to strengthen it and of course ocean issues and, and, and blue issues are part of it as they are very much part of our competitiveness and, and part of our welfare most, uh, most of all. So I would like to mention that for example, marine plastic litter and microplastics are some mm -hmm. concrete areas of now cross-sectoral cooperation that we are focusing uh, on. I would say that uh, these are also pretty new areas of cooperation. So because we know that what kind of a problem um, plastic is when it uh, goes to the oceans. So this, these are one of the important, uh, uh, important work that we are, we are now doing. Yes, thank you. That is a worldwide issue that uh, UNDP is also working on. Uh, I have one more question for you. Um, the Nordic Council of Ministers is organizing, uh, facilitating the international cooperation 
in the Nordic countries and the autonomous areas. How do you view your role in a broader global context, for instance, with regards to supporting the sustainable development goals, including now fisheries crime? Well, first of all, sustainability is, of course, a very overarching topic, and it is something also that we try to take into account in all our activities. And as relates to the Agenda 2030 goals, sustainability goals, so we are also cooperating in order to support our member states and autonomous areas to implement those goals and to reach those goals also in their national policies. But I would like to mention the two most important tracks. The first is that it is, of course, extremely important that we we are working for sustainability goals in our own actions and within the Nordic region. And there, of course, the vision of becoming world's most sustainable area is very important. But in addition to that, it is, of course, very important that we do our best in order to support the sustainable development all over the world. And there we in the ministerial council, for example, we we uh, sir, we are as a platform and we support the, our our countries to cooperate on the international fora in international uh, negotiations and these kind of uh, occasions in order to have uh, an even uh, stronger uh, influence, uh, not only here within Nordic area but also globally. Nordic countries are very big. Uh, partners in, in uh, development cooperation, for example. So in that sense, also, uh, every kind of cooperation is, is very much uh, welcome. Thank you. That was a very uh, uh, comprehensive answer. Uh, and um, indeed, the Nordic countries are a very important partner to uh, the work that UNDP and other UN agencies uh, uh, do in this area as well. And I believe you have some questions uh, the other way to the other way to me um, in this session. Uh, well, uh, I would like to uh, build a bridge from uh, what we just uh, discussed. As I mentioned, it's very important that to show good example uh, and, and, and lead by example. And this is, of course, very, very typical and important uh, for us our, as Nordics. Uh, now that, that you uh, offer this opportunity to ask uh, something. So, of course, it would be interesting to hear from you since since we are both also organizers, organi um, organizations located here in Copenhagen, that has there been come up something within UNDP that you would like to see more uh, cooperation from mm -hmm. our side or something that we could even more support uh, the very important work that you are doing? Uh, and likewise, yeah, the Nordic region, region has shown both via the Nordic Atlantic uh, Fisheries Intelligence Group and, and the wider cooperation we've had with the Nordic uh, Council and Council of Ministers, the value of the cross-border cooperation in addressing uh, this particular issue of uh, fisheries crime. Um, and in this case, also uh, tax and economic crime in the fisheries sector, uh, which is also very influential. Um, and we should build on this model of cooperation and encourage broader cooperation in the Nordic region, I believe, and beyond in tackling all forms of crime in the fisheries sector. Um, UNDP, with its Nordic office here in Copenhagen and with the satellite offices in both Helsinki, Stockholm and Oslo, uh, is excellently placed in this regard to facilitate uh, such cooperation across the Nordic countries including under its uh, Blue Justice Project, of course, focusing on supporting governments to enhance their institutional cooperation in addressing uh, fisheries crime across borders as well as uh, nationally. So we would really welcome a strength in cooperation here. So, uh, yeah. And uh, do you have any uh, further issues that you want would like to raise? Uh, no, I, I don't uh, think so at this stage. I'm, I'm very grateful, grateful for the conference. And it's very important that we are following up the Copenhagen Declaration in this way. 
as you mentioned, there is a lot of work uh, to be done uh, and, uh, and, and we are more than willing to join our forces in order to reach the common goals even in a better way. So I, I thank you very much for this opportunity and I wish you uh, successful continuation for the conference. Thank you very much. So let me allow me to thank you, Paula, but also rounding off with another comment on the, the real importance of the Nordic as front runners for what we uh, popularly call building back better and greener. Uh, the support UNDP is receiving from the Nordic is crucial for us and to be able to provide the help needed in the world's poorest and most vulnerable countries. Uh, facing, you know, human development crisis now, which is unprecedented in its proportions, especially with the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, and which we risk losing uh, many years of, of development. The Nordic countries are a huge inspiration. Uh, not only are they a very important funder and uh, providing resources, but also a very important policy partner uh, for our work, setting priorities, you know, across the world, across our network of 170 country, or country offices in 170 countries. So there is a multiplier effect of the Nordic countries' efforts and input to or our organization, as well as the other uh, Nord or U UN organizations. And the other thing is that I think the, we see that the Nordic countries are also a huge inspiration uh, to developing countries in both the systemic models that uh, you apply the cooperative methods. And this is also what we try then to transmit and uh, put uh, at their disposal the inspiration uh, from uh, also the lessons learned in the Nordic countries, uh, which has also provided solutions to many problems that are real for, for them today. And um, not least also help providing the initial investments uh, in the form of ODA, but providing or making that the platform for further financing uh, to achieve uh, the sustainable development goals. And facilitating the support that the world now needs through UN and its partners has this multiplier effect, as I said. UNDP's results on the ground, ground shows that uh, investment through the Nordic uh, ODA, so a development aid cooperation, does provide dividends. Um, and to tackle this pandemic especially, we must now rebuild trust in cooperation within and among our nations, between people and their governments, to invigorate and strengthen the international system, both the one you work for and the one I work for. And coping uh, with an Overcoming uh, COVID-19 requires countries to have inclusive and strengthened institutions across all sectors. So the Nordics, uh, I just wanted to say as a concluding remark, are a great example for exactly that. So thank you very much again. <laughs>